<laughs> I will, and I'll go live too. So let's go ahead and just go live. Why don't we just do the whole shebang while we're doing it? And well, that way I won't have to remember whatever. So here we go. <clears throat> Ladies, thanks for being with us. And Katrina, thanks for reminding me. As I said, this is our Teaching Tuesday, where one of our members of Lead Up for Women get to come forward and teach you their genius. Um, you know, we all have we all have to wear a lot of hats in our business. But the beautiful part about having this this Teaching Tuesday is that we get to learn from other experts that are experts in their lane. And then we get to take that and apply it to our business. So I met Katrina and she reminded me that we were at a year anniversary not too long ago. She goes, it's just been a year. And I was like, only a year? Seems like we've done so much in a year. Some of you might say, well, that's because we know you and Katrina and you guys are fast movers. We are. We believe that the, um, that the fastest path to wealth is speed. We, we definitely agree on that. And so if you wanna learn how to do that, hang around us more, because we'll teach you all how to do that. But we, we make uh, very, very fast decisions. And um, just that's why Katrina's you know, been on here twice already, because uh, she made the fast decision to get in and book her spotlights right away. She booked one right away and then one a little bit further out because she knew she wanted to pace herself and be in other spotlights that we've had. So that's what the beauty, and I'll, I'll enter some information into the chat so that all of you can see how you can be part of this community um, um, moving forward and in 2022. So um, I, like I said, I met Katrina about a year ago and what, what interested me about Katrina, and this is a true story, I met her at a networking event I saw all the books behind her. Everyone see all the books behind her? Okay, so um, I was like, she was telling me she was an author of all these books. I booked a call with her. I got on the phone, and the first thing I said to her was, okay, you've got to tell me, uh, how did you become an author of all these books? What's the trick? How'd you do it? And I'm one of those people that I just want to learn from other people, right? How'd you do it? Tell, teach me how to do it. I don't want to reinvent the wheel and figure it out myself. So that's what I did. And she said, it's, it's pretty easy. This is what I do. This is how I do it. I get collaboration books together. I was like, awesome. Can you come talk to my private clients? I think this could be a really great opportunity for them. They want to do books. They're not sure how to get them started. I don't have the resources on um, doing that as a publishing. And then Katrina, you know, starts a publishing company on helping people get their books out there. And I was like, this is so great. So Katrina and I have jumped in and done other partnerships together and other things that we've done to help each other. But the biggest part is we continue to cross collaborate, which has brought both of us so many new contacts, so many new clients, so many new opportunities just from cross collaborating. And today she's going to be teaching us about how to automate your biz. And I, I wrote, you know, in the in the Facebook message that this is about your your business becoming easier and you saving time. That's what automation does. And I come from a franchising background that many of you might remember. And everything in franchising is about processes and procedures for ease of duplication. So remember, if you have automation in your business, then you're able to duplicate processes and things very quickly that can be done while you're not having to focus on it. So that's why I'm happy to have Katrina here today because ladies, this is all about making our lives easier. We did not design these businesses to make it harder for us to work more. That's not what we're doing. And if that's what you're doing, then you're in the right place. And this is the reason why you're here today. So Katrina, you want to take it away? She's like, stop it. Stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. Yay. I see so many familiar faces. I think there might be just one or two people that I don't know or haven't seen on the call. So yay. Um, and how many of you are not members of Lead Up, which is great, of course. Okay. Uh, all my clients. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah>. thanks, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm glad you're here. You're finally, you know, trusting me. Maybe it's early enough. You didn't have anything on your calendar. I know I had to get up early for this. I also have to turn down my heater because now I'm on the hot seat. Definitely. Um, so I want to talk about automating today. And many of you have heard about automating. You're probably already doing a lot of automation in your business. Um, the thing is that this is the thing that's going to make you so much more money, right? Do you guys get that? 
And so first you have to have a bigger money goal. Most people that I talk to don't have, uh, in my opinion, a big enough money goal. You're not stretching yourself. So I want you to think of how you can make more money. Um, and then you, a lot of people think that, um, that in order to make more money, they have to work harder or longer hours. Anybody have that mindset? No. Okay. There's a couple of you that think that if I'm going to make more money, I just have to work harder. I don't want to do that. Right. So I'm good with this much money instead of that much money. So I want to, in order to get the big money that you want or deserve, or, you know, sometimes people say, well, I just need to make this. It's okay. And that's okay. But what if you made a lot more money? Could you do more with that? Could you fund your retirement? Could you send your kids to college or grandkids to college? Could you um, give back more to the community? So hopefully you've got that on the brain. I'm not going to talk about making money. I mean, today necessarily like directly, but <clears throat> the goal is you have to sometimes stop and do the stuff we're going to talk about today in order to see the bigger money. But sometimes we're on this little hamster wheel and we're just go, go, going, go, go, going. Anybody go, go, going right now? And you're so busy, like already for the year that you can't even stop and take a breath and you're lucky if you're here. And you're probably doing something else at the time right now too, as you're sitting here listening. I urge you to maybe not do that um, because what I'm gonna talk about today, I want like, if you're gonna do something during this call, I'm all about multitasking and I'm good at it. Some people are not good at it, so be careful. But uh, I'm not saying that's a good thing to do uh, unless you're super good at it. But um, but the thing, I, what I want you to do is I want you to log into your website right now and make some changes on it. I want you to log into Facebook and do some things on that to make more automation. I want you to, to pull out an old ebook or checklist and update it so it's more automated. I want you to do the things we're talking about today if you're gonna multitask, please, okay? Don't be checking emails, don't do that. Stay focused with what can you implement because that's how, it, otherwise, why do you attend calls? If you're gonna attend calls like this where it's really a teaching, let's get shit done kind of a call, then let's focus on the stuff that I'm talking about today. How about that? Everybody kind of agree with me there? Like, yeah, we're all in. Okay, great. Um, so I do have a few slides to show here. First, I'll put my intro in the chat, which is a little long, but um, so you have it, just so you have it. Um, I do have a little PowerPoint. I'm gonna skip through it because the days of PowerPointing people are gone, right? So like, I, I pulled out, I told Colleen before the call, I pulled out my Automate Your Biz to Skyrocket Your Profits PowerPoint and had to dust it off and make some um, <laughs> improvements on it. <laughs> I don't think I've done this talk since uh, 2020 maybe, uh, but I teach it all the time to clients and in my workshops and stuff. Um, so let me just show a couple things, um, but know that the first thing that we want to do is know your numbers, right? So let me see here. Doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Okay. All right. You should all be able to see my slides. If you can't, let me know. I'm going to open the chat too we so can I can see watch. Him. Okay. So I can watch what you guys are doing. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So if you want, see what my goal is, is to create your happiest life ever. Help you create your happiest life ever. Happy to me means lots of love in your life and money in your business and then uh, really good health. Right. I added that one in after 40 because I had shit happen. So like, <laughs> right, Tony. Yay. We're glad you're here. Thank you for being here. I love you. <laughs> um, so love money and, and health. Um, if we have that, we're the happiest ever, but in order to have a lot of love in our life and self-care and time off with families and vacations, uh, and a lot of money in our business and good health so we could focus on our health and money to fund the things we need to pay for like acupuncture and chiropractic and all these other things. We need to make more money and we need it consistently, okay? So if you guys want, it's the consistency part that I really focus on with clients because too many of us are on the roller coaster of cash flow, and I've been there and it's scary and it's one month you're great and one month you're not. So if you're like all about consistency, let me hear it in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. I want consistent cash flow. Um, and then we want to make keep making more. So I want to cover a little bit about 
my roller coaster ride and how I'm more consistent these days with my cash flow due to systems, automation, and organization. Seriously, okay? And then I'm going to tell you a bunch of other things. Um, hopefully, if, if you are overwhelmed or working too hard, some of these things, you have to stop. You have to stop being, uh, even if you're overwhelmed, you have to stop and do the work, okay? This work, not just the, let me go get clients and let me market my business or let me go create a thing. You have to do these things that we're going to talk about today. Um, and again, like I'm going to kind of speed through these. I don't want you to talk yourself out out of dreams. Oh, I'm too tired. I can't do this. You want to know what else is possible. I want you to live bigger. These are all of the, you know, phrases that I live by. And I know Colleen's very with me on that too. We talked a little bit about money. I'm not going to stay there. Um, you got to figure out what motivates you in order to do this, or you're not going to stop and do these systems. Okay. And if you aren't enjoying the type of lifestyle you want now, because of all these outside things, we have to figure out, okay, what to push away, what to lock over here for later, what to let go of, so we can clear the path for doing these things that are going to improve your business and your efficiency, okay? Some of the biggest mistakes is we try to do it all ourselves. And I just did a video the other day on the 462 things we need to master as an entrepreneur. <laughs> Literally, I said 462 things and I kind of laughed and I'm like, I haven't really counted, but I really think there's around 462 things that I've had to learn and master, <laughs> like literally. Oh, Misty says, I need to figure out what actually motivates me. Yeah, you don't, you totally do. You do, because if you don't, you'll just kind of sit in, you know, mediocrehood or you won't be motivated. You know, I'm trying to count calories right now. What motivates me to count calories? Well, I want to get into my, you know, my size 12 jeans again. That'd be nice, especially if I have to start going to events and stuff. I'm like, ah, so like what's motivating me is I want to look good in jeans, right? And so what's going to motivate you to make more money in your business? You're going to have to figure something out and you can talk to any of us to help you do that. But you've got to talk to people. Sometimes you have to be around people. And there's a difference between interest and commitment, when you're interested in doing something, you do it only when it's convenient. When you're committed, you accept no excuses, only results. I don't accept excuses from clients. Every once in a while, I'll give somebody a pass because something happened or they got sick or their kid got sick, but I don't accept excuses. So we can't accept them for ourselves either. Okay. We have to keep moving on our action list as small baby steps or big leaps of faith. And like I said, I'm here to help you make more money. This is a little bit about me. If all I did was wave a magic wand and all I did was spend time with my family, my clients doing events and retreats and having vacations, I would be a happy camper. And um, so doing what I love, this is what I love. I love educating, empowering, motivating, teaching, sharing, um, and this is me. And I don't have a huge bucket list because it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care if I climb Kilimanjaro. I certainly would not do that, frankly, because I do not like that much exercise. It's actually on my bucket list. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I do want to travel more, but that's just the more I can automate, delegate, and systematize, the more I can take vacations with my family. So it's just how it is. Um, just for some of you who don't know me, I've been doing this for 19 and a half years. It's my 20 year anniversary this August in being in business, working from home, doing my own thing. Okay. And I couldn't even imagine going back uh, to work. Uh, I did nothing but networking and follow up when I started. Nothing. I was in four chambers, a leads group, e women network in my local Sacramento, California area. All I did was networking and follow-up. I was really good at the follow-up, mind you. Okay, I have a whole system for follow-up. But the key uh, was I was in front of a whole lot more people, okay? More often and in more ways. And, um, but that only got me to a certain amount of income, maybe 70, 75,000, I think, in the first few years. I, and then when I added all the online stuff too, it just grew and grew and grew. So, but I had to hire mentors, get into mastermind groups, brainstorm with people, go to workshops, learn stuff, and then implement it, right? I had to implement it in order to get to where I am now, which is multiple six figures every year for the last, I don't know, like, uh, 13, 14 years. So it's 
not an easy task to get to. It was not easy. I cried. I've been in the floor with my bills. I get it. It's not been an easy journey at all, but it's that constant action that has kept me consistent. I do a lot of fun stuff now. So I have a mastermind. I do books. Like Colleen said, I have a lot of online trainings. I'm doing a summit like uh, Dawn mentioned. She's a speaker on it. Um, so is Christine. And uh, I do live events. <clears throat> I'm bringing back live events this year. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, you got to These are the real keys to really designing, redesigning your business to fit the kind of life you want to live. Know your big vision. Live your big vision every day. Constantly be simplifying and systematizing. These are the things. Oops. Um, these are the things that are so critical. Simplifying and systematizing. Like write those down. How can I simplify a process that I'm doing? How can I systematize it and or delegate it to somebody? Those, that is what we want you to be on the lookout for, okay? And you're, you're not gonna be able to get to multiple six figures on a consistent basis without some help. I mean, that, like that's just, you know, so everybody write down like, what is your big vision? What do if you could wave a magic wand, put a sentence in the chat, I'd love to hear you know, you have to stop weekly to work on your business. You got to get the bird's eye view. Sometimes I see people just like head down constantly in their business like this, right? And then they look up and a month has passed <laughs> and they still may not be in the income. So what is your guys's big vision? Like what, if you could wave a magic wand, what is slowing you down? Where do you want to be? Answer some of these questions. I'd love to hear you guys unmute and really get into this because you have to get to the, why am I doing this? What do I want to change? Nobody, nobody wants to play? Me, I'll Ooh. play, I'll play, I'll play. Okay, done. I have a big vision for my life and big plans and big dreams cost big money. So I am very committed to growing my Hey Taxi, automating, and making it run smooth and easy and not take as much time as it's taking right now because I have a passion project that I am committed to launch in Barcelona in May of 2023 that is to help women live their best lives and it's for women who are at a crossroads in their life and want to figure out what's next for them, what's their path, what's their purpose. 28 days in beautiful Barcelona, and I am super excited about it, but I'm very committed to what I'm doing right now, which is helping female entrepreneurs grow their businesses and live their dreams. Don't you have an event today too? I do. I have an event tonight from six to nine. Oh, okay. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't remember the times and I'm mm -hmm. like, wait, isn't this the 25th? You have an event mm -hmm. today. Like you do. silly girl, you're still here. You're working on your business and you have something going on. Most people would say, no, I'm too busy. Focus on the thing I've got going on. I'm not going to take in that, that fuel. Right. So thank you for being here and sharing that. That's great. We got to think, okay, how can we wait? What let me ask it this way. What is one thing you wish you didn't have to do anymore in your business? You could write it in the chat or you could unmute. Social media. Social media. Like what part of social media? Every oh, part I, or? I do not enjoy social media. I don't. I don't enjoy the, <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't. Yeah. I Anybody want, what I want to post. I want to post when and what I want to post. I don't want to have to post every day because my business demands that I post every day. Yeah. Who's who's with that mindset? Anybody? Well, let's see. Who okay? I don't see everybody's hands. I get you. So half the room at least. Yeah, I'm with you. I um I have this talk that I gave called Picking the Lane. Actually, I did a video on it. You should go on to my YouTube because there's tons of little videos and some of them are really funny. Some of them are really good, like tips and stuff. But picking a lane is like, just don't do social media anymore. Screw it. Do networking and speaking and really good follow-up and you will get plenty of business. Like who believes that? Anybody? Some of you don't believe it. I get it. So you can have like the bare minimum over there. And I still get clients from social media. I still get people coming onto my list. I still get people signing up for stuff from social media, but I'm not hanging out there very often because even if I post something really meaningful, I might get 12 people looking at it. 
every once in a while, I get 45 to 60 people looking at it. And I've got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people, right? So I'm fed up with it too, frankly, but I love this lane. So picking a lane is like, well, spend 80% of your marketing time on the activities that you love to do and just spend 20% on the other things. So it's okay to spend 20% or 2% of your time on social media, maybe delegate a few of the necessary things that need to go, like the promotion of your events, the promotion of your webinars, the promotion uh, or the recaps of your talks or, you know, promotion of your talks or any blog items or videos that or trainings and stuff. So anybody else can post those, right? And then just go in and do fun, engaging things and talking to people and stuff if you want to. But yeah, it's okay. So let's see. M Michelle says, get tired of networking where everyone is trying to market it to everyone else. Yeah. So some events <clears throat> are like, we're, we're talking Zoom right now, right? Because it's mostly Zoom, but there's in-persons are coming back. Um, there's, I don't know how many like Zoom calls, like how many of you are on more than 10 a month? Anybody more on more than 10 a month? Yeah. Because if you don't have clients, what else are you going to do? Even if you have clients, you got to get new clients and new people on your list. So, but I, I have uh, embraced, I love doing Zoom calls. I don't even think I want to travel that much. I want to go to like a few select conferences and then stay home and do Zoom all day. Like, because it's so much more efficient. I can meet so many more people who's with me, right? Like I, don't get me wrong. I love live events, but maybe one a quarter. And I used to go once or twice a month. I used to travel and stuff. So, all right. Who else has anything they want to proclaim about something that they don't like to do? They were talking about social media a little while back in the chat. And they were saying that they want to be able to, um, and one, uh, Dr. Michelle was talking about technology and learning new apps. And Marlis was saying that she was wary of new technology and social connections. Okay. So, Maybe yeah, talk about tech real quick. Yeah, let's talk about tech. And I do have a slide for that. Um, let me let me go to a couple of things because. Um, and while you're pulling that up, I have a perspective on social media and Katrina knows this. Yeah, go ahead. I, don't, don't worry about what other people think. Too much weight is put on what other people expect you to do, how often other people expect you to post. I've worked with clients that have come to me that have said I was working with a marketing coach and they told me I have to do da, da, da. And they were so paralyzed by it they did nothing so it, i love what katrina said enjoy and do what it is that you love to do do you love to go live then go live and just talk and you know that be your marketing for the day most people will watch a video over watching a post that you went into canva and spent an hour to create anyway so do it the way you love to do it that works for you don't worry about what everyone else thinks you must yeah. do Right there. Because there's way too many things you can do in your marketing. There's like 20 or 30 different marketing strategies when you break them all down to little things you can do. Um, you may not realize. You may think, oh, there's social media, there's networking, and there's speaking. Those are three out of 20, you guys. Okay. So there's so much more you can do. We just have to find the right things you like to do. So the things that we want to automate or systematize, um, it's not that we want to automate re our relationships, but we want to automate the nurturing of a lot of that. You can still be very personal in your emails that get auto-delivered, okay? You can be very personal in them, but you have to start auto-delivering them. You have to start putting... Uh, uh, temp forms on your website from your database. So when we're talking technology, um, your calendar is important, creating templates. So in my email system, I have email templates of things. So I have, if I have a freebie on my website, I will have a templated follow-up email series of three emails. Okay. And they say, a lot of times they say similar things and it's kind of the email that I want people to get to know me a little bit and get to know my expertise so they can start like trusting and connecting with me. All of that is sent before you usually, I even know they're there. Okay. So they opt in, they get all these emails, they start seeing my newsletters. And then every once in a while, boop, they'll pop on my calendar for a call. And that's automation. That is what we want. We want to be as personal as humanly possible on your web pages 
and your emails. And those are probably the single most important things that you need to automate. And if you only have one email going out, you need three. If you are only sending one newsletter a month, you need to send three or four, seriously, three or four emails minimum. You need to send a weekly email these, these days. Um, these are some things. So developing templates of things that you teach over and over again. I remember way back when I was doing a, um, and I was doing an event list, kind of like I, when, when COVID started, I was compiling all these networking groups online, right? And so I had this big long list of 35 places you could go. The lead up was one of them. Um, and my international speaker network, I had 35 places. Every time I heard of a networking group, I'd add it to the list and I'd give that list out. Right. But when I was first starting, it was adding networking events. So it was in person events. Sometimes this list was three pages long of 12 point font like listings. And it took me three hours to create. Once I figured out how to teach someone how to create that list and where to find the info, I passed that off. So that's something that I was doing every single month for three hours. And that is just an example of something that when, so sometimes when I'm doing something on my computer, I have Zoom open, I'm doing it and recording my screen and talking to my assistant at the same time and recording what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Therefore, I can give them the, the video of it and now they can go do the thing that I was just doing and boom, it's off my plate. So what are the one or two things you could do like that? Okay, there's at least one or two things that you say, I can't do because I'm the only one that knows how to do it. Well, video record yourself and screen share if it's something you can do, um, take pictures of whatever and put it into a Word document or whatever um, and do that, please. Um, creating systems, that's a system. So I re you realize that there's a process that you're doing something in and you can also talk it out to your assistant. Now I'm talking about having an assistant. If you don't have an assistant, it put no in the chat, like put no in the chat if you don't have one yet, just so I know who has one and who doesn't because it's, um, it, it's almost like critical, okay? So there's quite a few of you. Okay, so there are things <laughs> that you can delegate. You don't have to hire someone for a thousand dollars a month. You can pay 50 bucks for this or 30 bucks for that or a hundred bucks for that. You've got to start believing that those little dollars are going to lead to much bigger dollars in freeing up your time. Okay. And if you don't know where to find these people, come to me. I have plenty of people, Colleen probably does too, um, ask me and, and just, you have to tell me the task of what you want to done. So I know you can't read this slide. Um, because it's <laughs> no, too I was going to say, does anyone want to throw up when they look at this? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, this is, so I'm always talking about the website being the hub of your business. Okay. So, oops, um, this is how I think. I think in systems like this. Okay. I think in, I'm very creative, but I'm also analytic. Uh, so someone opts in for a freebie, they receive an email auto responder to take you to the thank you page, they automatically get redirected to the thank you page, they don't look at the freebie but remain on your list, they download, read or listen, they take the next step, they sign up for a call with you, you take them to fill in a form, they fill out the questions, your site redirects them to the online scheduler, you, you receive a notice and email them to schedule. I mean, you just have to do this stuff, you have to set these things up, right? You have to put opt-in boxes and forms on your website. You need more video on your website. Video allows, why this is automation is because it automates the um, relationship building, okay? So when you can put a video on mul multiple pages on your website of whatever the page is about, say you have a membership page, right? Don has a membership page. You got to put a video there. I don't think you have one. I don't know. I don't remember. But put one there and say, hi, I'm so glad you're looking at our membership and this is the benefits and this is who it's for. And I'd love to talk with you if you have any questions. If the page doesn't answer all your questions, you need to you know, send me an email, go to the contact page, but I'd love to see you in the membership. And you can always cancel if there's any question or if you decide it's not for you, but this is what the stuff you're going to learn and what you're going to get out of it. And um, all the info is on the page below. Do you see how that video would help the engagement and the conversion on that page, right? So think of every single page you have on your website and what kind of video can you put there?
what can kind of video? It doesn't have to be long. It can be like, hey, I'm so glad you're on this page. Just don't go really, what you don't want to do is you don't go, welcome to my website. I'm so, how are you doing today? Like get rid of the fluff because they you, you got to get them in three, four seconds. So you got to go, hey, I'm glad you're on this site. This is what you need to know about this page on my website. It means you're probably interested in that. Just get into it, right? And then have a page on your about page. If they're like, I wonder who this chick is, they can go to the about page and hear your philosophy or how you like to work with people. This is probably one of the single most important things you need to do, put more videos on your webpage. If you have no idea how to do that and how the technology works or how to embed them on the webpage, you just need to ask because I can show you or whatever, okay? I don't care what site you're built, your website built on Squarespace, WordPress, it doesn't matter, you can do this, all right? You just may not know how. Um, let's see, enlist a team to support you. We talk, these are all the things. You can take a screenshot of this. These are the things I need to know. For example, if you want to hire someone uh, to help you do a couple things, you need to have a specific task. You can't just say, oh, I need a VA because what? Well, they're all, not all created equal. And some charge, you know, 50 bucks, some charge $12 an hour, some are seven, some are $95 an hour. You just have to, you have to get that task list together. Okay. Um, anyone authors using a VA? Authors, uh, there's VAs that work specifically for authors, you guys, seriously. And, uh, let's see, do it at a VA in the Philippines. Yeah. VAs, you, if you're going to use someone outside the U.S., make sure you get a referral because there's too many people that are not, um, I don't want to say trustworthy, just not reliable in the outside the country. Okay. So yes, we want to save money. That is not where I started. I did not start with someone outside the country because of the language barrier. Also, I will tell you that, and I'll stop sharing for a second and I'll get back to more technology in a second, but I will tell you that when you hire someone um, in the beginning, you don't know how to hire and train, most likely. I had to learn this. I had to learn it the hard way. And then I had to get help to show me how to train my assistants and how to feed them information. This just doesn't come into our brain. If you are not an organized, logical, analytical, then you're probably not going to feed them the, the, the info that they need the way they need it in order to actually do a task, okay? So sometimes, <clears throat> the majority of the times, I would say you want to talk to your assistant, which whoever it is, okay? You need to talk to them. So if they're sleeping when you're awake and you're awake when they're sleeping, uh, whatever, then <laughs> then you uh, are, it's gonna be hard, hard to get started. So I would, I would highly recommend you buck up and do somebody that you can actually speak to at least for the first year in your business. I spent a lot of money in my delegation in the first few years of when I started to hire a team, but I needed to talk to them and I needed them to understand English and I needed them to write English and I needed them to be available to me when I was available. And because I needed, I needed to get stuff out of my head and I didn't know what to write, but I knew how to talk it. Okay, so I got on recording on calls before Zoom was around and would just record everything and they would write it down and then they would go do the thing. And they would also ask me questions. The right assistants will ask you questions and keep digging and keep digging and fill in the holes. So if I say, these are the steps I need to you to do and they'll say, well, what about this? What happens here? And you missed, you didn't tell me what goes there. And I'm like, oh, thanks for clarifying that step that's missing that I didn't tell you. These are the things they don't teach, right? They don't teach you how to delegate appropriately so that you are efficient with your team. You spend less money working with them because you're more efficient and productive. So be careful with the out of country unless you, in the beginning, because if you're not comfortable delegating or you don't know how to delegate, you're gonna need to talk to people. Um, so you just have to put this in your need number. I talk about having a need number meaning what do you need to make in your business in order to pay the bills, pay the business expenses, pay the business coach, pay the marketing that you need to do, pay for the all the subscriptions you belong to, pay for your technology, pay your assist and, and pay 500 a month in an assistant or two, um, and pay $2,000 a month to submit into a retirement fund or savings, right? You have to pay yourself. So what is that need number? So usually when I talk about your need number, it goes up 
when we talk about delegating. So if you're, if you need to make say 5,000 a month, or then I would say your goal should be 8,000 because you, you're not paying for the things that you need to be a consistent money-making business. Do you see what I'm saying? So if you think your goal is 5,000, then please raise it to seven or eight. If you think your goal is eight, please raise it to 10. And because if you don't have a higher goal, you will not make a higher goal. So it's okay to make a higher goal and not make it, but it's not okay to make a lower goal and make it. Do you see? So we need to make enough money to pay for all these things we need. So you have to put it in your goal now. You can't just say, when I make more money, I will put these things in my, I will get a new website. I will hire a web person. I will hire this person when I make more money. But my goal is only at 5,000. Well, your goal needs to be at eight because if it's not at eight, you're not going to make eight. And then you're not going to be able to ever do that. Do you guys see the difference? Okay. I hope they understand that because it's absolutely the truth. If you want to scale your business, you have to add hours. And if we both have 24 seven, all of us, then how else do you add hours? You have to duplicate yourself, which Katrina's had on several slides, which show how do you duplicate yourself? Get a house cleaner, do your house cleaning work for you, right? That's not thousands of dollars a month. That's very cheap for you to still focus on the things you need to do. Hire someone that you can outsource some items to so you're not spending three hours a month building that template. Someone else, by the way, that's probably quicker and faster and could do it is maybe it's taking them an hour and a half, right? Because they're doing it all the time and, and that's like a skill that they're good at. I agree with you, Katrina. There's no <clears throat> other way to scale your business. Yeah. And so you have to just put that into your goal money. You have to, even if you're not making it yet, because if you don't strive for it, you're not going to be able to afford these things and you have to put it in now. Okay. So I don't care if you're even not even to your current goal yet, you have to raise your goal because it's a mindset thing too. Okay. Now I'm noticing Diane in the chat, she is off camera, which is fine. But you said, if you're looking for someone to help with a project, please reach out and let's talk. Diane, I would say, be a little bit more specific. You can't just be, this, and I'm not just picking on you, but this is what people do. They put that kind of stuff in the chat and nobody contacts you because we don't know exactly the tasks that you can do. And when I hire someone, I usually interview them and say, what, is the, what are the, your favorite things to do with clients? And usually someone will go, oh, well, I like to do this and this, and those are my favorite things. But I also do blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to hire you to do this and this, and that's it. And then I'm going to go find another person to do blah, 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 blah. Does it make sense? So do not hire someone, only one person who says they can do blah, 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 blah. If only they like to do this and this, okay? Please do not do that because those other things will get lost in the shuffle. They will get on the bottom of their to-do list. They will do them half-ass or they won't do them at all because they don't have clear instruction and they don't really like to do them anyways. So don't do that. It is okay to have multiple people working with you. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg. You can pay sometimes less money because what if you pay more money to the people that are more strategic, say with your social and, and some strategy stuff, and then you want to pay less money to someone who's doing like admin or database work or, um, you know, filling out spreadsheets and doing whatever it is, right? So look at different people for different tasks, please. So if you are also marketing your tasks, be specific to the tasks you love to do. All right. Um, I hope that's sinking in for them. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it any other way, but I do that. I have someone that I pay a different amount of money, which is much higher to work on web pages and, and keep for me in Infusionsoft, which is the one I have, right? She's fast. She knows it like the back of her hand. She's good. If I gave that to my other assistant that handles my social media, it would take her four times as long. I'd probably wind up spending more money on it and it wouldn't be done right. But when yeah. you hire an expert at more money, they're faster, more efficient, and she's the only one that touches that. I have other people that do other tasks. That is so crucial. I hope that all of you that are returning emails right now heard that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch people's eyes and see what everyone's doing. But I'm it's just okay. saying, pay attention to that piece right there. I know Good I'm nugget. kind of intense. <laughs> I get that I'm kind of intense, you guys. And I'm like, ah, like <laughs> I get that. Um, and this early in the morning, I don't know what, I don't even have that much coffee in me. Um, but I'm just super passionate because I know when you put these things into place, boom, you're going to make more money. Okay. And you're going to have a life. And so if you don't have a life and you're overwhelmed and you're not making as much money as you want, you must stop to strategize how you're going to do this.
okay? You have to, even if you are not making the money, you have to look at this and do this kind of business planning. And like, I'm going to hire someone in three months. So I'm going to go kick ass and make a bunch of money so that I can do that in three months, okay? You have to set these measurable goals, these SMART goals, right? All right, so let's get a little bit more... I'm just looking at the chat. Thanks for the clarity. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Thank you, Diane. Go. Go and put something really productive in the chat. Awesome. All right. So we're going to list enlist a team to support you. And that includes house stuff too. Um, and this is very uncomfortable, I know, for some of you, but you have to stretch yourself. You are not going to get where you want to go unless you stretch yourself, you guys. Real, you really are not. So I'm going to talk just a smidge about like how to make more money now, because this also has systems and automation in it. So when these are the top three things that you need to do to make more money, you need to get in front of more people more often and in more ways. It seems simple, but more ways means not just the same old thing. I had a, a person yesterday who said, yeah, I've been going to these same calls every month. And you know what? I added these other two groups too. And I'm like, good on your recommendation. I'm like, yay. Now you have new people you're getting in front of every month, right? Instead of the same old group, the same old group, this, I don't know how people only attend one group. I haven't the slightest idea. I'm in like 10 memberships and I go to all the calls. Um, and so I do as much as I can. Okay. And if I'm going to add a new one, then I have to let one go because I can't work more hours, I can only maximize the current hours I have. You have to make it easier for people to buy, which is having things on your website, like buy now buttons and online forms and click here for this and click here for that and, and watch my video to learn more and Q&A and testimonials. Making it easier for people to buy means automating and putting more on your website and making it the hub of your business, <clears throat> as well as making it easy for people to buy on social media and stuff like that. I can't tell you how many times I get a friend request, I go to the profile and they don't have their phone number or their website. I don't even know what they do because on their personal profile, they've kept it all personal. And I'm like, well, you're in business and your friend requesting me and I'm obviously a business person. So why are you keeping it all secret? And I have to go find your business page to see what you do. That's not making it easy. You have to put your business stuff everywhere, you guys. You will not get shut down on Facebook by putting your phone number, your email address, and your bio and your website on your personal profile. Please make it easy for people. Uh, sometimes I want to refer people and I can't even find their website or their phone number. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I private message if I know them, I'll be like, hey, put this on your thing because I can't find your stuff and you need this visible, right? Creating your interactive relationship marketing follow-up and sales system. This is the thing I've been teaching for eons is the follow-up and sales system are those after emails. It's the things after you connect with people. So people that you meet on Zoom, what's the process? Are you guys connecting with each other? Are you taking people to a free gift on your website? Are you taking people to your online scheduler to do a call with you to see how you can help each other? And then deciding what you're going to do next are you going to share each other's stuff? Are you going to do a joint call? Or what is the process you're going to do on all these little things? You have to have these little checklists because you can't just come to a call. And even on a call where you want to learn stuff, I'm constantly networking. I'm always networking, right? In the chat and work in the room. And when we're not in a salesy way necessarily, but I'm chatting, I'm talking, I'm asking questions, I'm giving feedback, I'm giving content like Colleen's doing right now in the chat. And I gotta open the chat just in case you guys are saying, yes, she does. Okay, good. Um, okay, so these are the kind, these are the top 10 marketing strategies. So networking is what we're doing now, but we're also attending uh, training. So it's kind of a training slash networking at the same time. So you're all putting your info in the chat, hopefully with live links to your website and your free gifts. You can't just put your website, you need to put the free gift webpage. <clears throat> and then speaking, right? Speaking live or virtual, you've got to get more speaking gigs. And uh, if you could mute somebody, I.
yeah okay. connecting with people so um commenting on their stuff and asking them if they want more or um giving good advice and having them come uh respond back and say oh yeah i'd like to learn more that kind of thing i'm um, doing the follow-up right now you can't just being efficient and getting more done is not i'm going to stop sharing for a second is not at the end of the zoom call pressing the three buttons and saving the chat and then going through it for an hour later trying to figure it out that is not being efficient right so you can hopefully first of all let's see there's one two three there's three of us well there's really only there's only me there's really only me in the whole room that has a website in my name in, see where the names are, all your names underneath your, there's only me who has a website underneath it. Every time you get on a Zoom call, some of you have a business or a tagline, grief massage, hey taxi, take the leap, but you don't have a URL, right? This is Colleen's call, so we'll give her a break because she's, you know, you're already on her list. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I told you I learned something every single time I'm with Katrina. You you it's have to have do. a sticky note on your computer or something like rename myself, right? Every single time I get into a Zoom call, every single two, single time I get into a Zoom call, that's the first thing I look at. Do I need to rename myself? Because sometimes I'll show up as Katrina Sawa and nothing else. Sometimes I show up like this, which is my default. Sometimes I want to add and jumpstartpublishing.net because I'm in front of authors or people that could be authors. And so I have room for two URLs and my name, you guys. So you can rename. But if you're not doing that, um, then it's it's not showing up in the chat either unless you're posting it. So every single time I post in the chat, then those two websites get into my comment, right? Or get in there. So, but my point is you don't wanna wait for the chat. You wanna interact now. So if you do this, you're helping all of us because we can see, oh, okay, Bonnie, uh, Chamaika, okay, I go fund me. Um, okay, hey, Taxi Academy, ooh, what's that? I wanna know more, Don, right? So we're commenting and we're seeing, we're like, oh, what is that? Callingbigs.net, right? Okay, I didn't know you had a .net. I'm gonna to go to your website. I always go to lead up, right? So, so yeah, it's the, it, you want to think of, it's all these little things. It's all these little things that add up to more efficiency, more automation, more um, um, getting in front of more people and making it more productive and more profitable for you. It will all lead to money. I promise you all these little things. If you do them, if you say, yeah, yeah, I don't have time, but you just got to have, if you need, if you're too overwhelmed with all this stuff, you need to make a checklist. You just need to make a checklist, stick it in front of your face. When you get on a call or when you do something like in your day, like have your checklist. These are the things I need to make sure I do every day. Um, you got to stay organized. If you're not organized, you're not going to win, right? We need to we we need to be completely organized with all this stuff. Okay, so all right, so a couple more things, and then we'll go on. So the calendar. If you're still using paper, please stop. If get on Google, get somewhere where I where you can time block and do things automated with your scheduler and all that and i went kicking and screaming to this years ago trust me but i it is my lifeblood my calendar is my lifeblood that is where everything goes that is where everything that i need to do that's really important like sign up for this speaking opportunity by this day and uh or miss out right i gotta put that on my calendar in case i don't have time to do it now i stop and do that I stop and do that, you guys. So if someone sends me something like, hey, call for speakers, but I'm in the middle of a really busy day, I will take that and stick it on my calendar before the deadline so I don't forget to do that. You have to stop and do these things, okay? You have to somehow see over here and see over here and see over here and be able to prioritize these things. And <clears throat> I know I'm probably exhausted all of you and it's only you know nine o'clock, but... Um, <laughs> uh, so funnels, lead generation process, opt-in pages. Um, please put more pictures on your website. That helps your conversion. Um, <clears throat> this is, you know, a really complicated little thing. If you don't know how the funnels work and the technology works, you need to hire someone to show you and or train you on it, especially if you want to do some of the things yourself and save money. But you probably need to get somebody <clears throat> who knows what they're doing to set it up for you first. Please don't try to learn an entirely new software to do the whole thing because you can't afford an assistant to do it. 
Setting up is the most complicated thing. Maintaining certain things is so much easier and easier to learn. So spend the money on the setup process, please. And then get someone to teach you how to maintain. And that's where you will save money if you can't do it all. Please don't try to do the setup and be an expert in Kartra or an expert in Keep or an expert in whatever. Please do not do that. That is not your goal. You need the setup is the most complicated piece and especially the payment processor stuff. Oh my God, I don't ever do that myself. I could probably figure it out, but I don't want to. I don't want that knowledge in my head. I've got too much stuff to do, right? So somebody needs to set it up for me and then just show me how to use it. And that's, and so I do do a lot of things on my own website myself because I've learned and now I can manage certain things. Okay. This is Sally, one of my clients. And, uh, she, she didn't have anybody coming to her website. She ran a networking group, you guys like this. She ran a networking group in person, tons of people, hundreds of people that were coming to that, but nobody was going to her website. And so we had to put uh, opt-in pages and free gifts and then show her how to market that because you can't just put stuff on your website and then, but nobody's coming. No, you have to market it. You have to tell people it's there. You have to tell them to go there, right? With all these little things that you're going to do. So I, I love to help people put these little checklists together. And this, yes, is what you want to know, but this is the confusing question of all. What the hell do I use, right? Which one do I use? Well, there's, uh, it's too long of a discussion. I did a 90 minute training, you guys, that you can all go get if you want. It's like 27 bucks, no big deal. Deciding on technology. If you are in the boat where you don't know which ones to use, you need to go get that because that's where I've talked out every single op like option for different types of businesses and just you go get it because I or you have to have a call with me because I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions to be able to uh accurately advise you. Do not take someone's advice that just says, oh, go use this program. Because if they're not even asking what kind of business you have or what you're selling or what your lifestyle is like or what your technology um, expertise is, do not take their advice, please. Okay. Because they're just spitting something out at you. And that may not be the thing for you. Please don't do that. Please make sure you get some, some more, somebody that's really looking at what you should be doing and then gives you the best advice for you, okay? Because there's a lot of options. And then we have to organize and manage our database. So that backend CRM and database that we're gonna use, whatever it is that's gonna have those opt-in forms, the um, where we're gonna send our emails, that has to be something that you know how to use. So you have to get a little training on that or have to learn that system. You can delegate a lot of it, but you can't just be so blind as to what you're doing that you if your assistant leaves or dies I have an assistant who died for God's sakes I had one of my assistants who debt was dead like she was young too it was really sad and she had like a four-year-old kid and she was like 35 and she was just woke up dead one time and I'm for two days I was like where is she I don't even know what happened like and then I went and I found a GoFundMe and I'm like holy crap she's dead like I didn't even know and her family didn't know to tell me and this sucks but I mean and of course I went on, but I mean, like, <clears throat> what happens if that person is managing your whole entire business? I mean, good Lord, right? You have to learn some things and get knowledgeable about some things. And you have to know all this stuff. This is the 462 things. I probably mentioned all of them here today. So what's critical is making the commitment to yourself and your business to do whatever it takes to get wherever you want to go. If you don't get the 100% results with a 50% commitment, you guys, you have to stop and work on this stuff on a regular monthly basis because it takes years to set all this stuff up. It will, it will take years. You're not gonna do this all in one year. You're not, okay? There's four things you could do. You could start getting organized and more focused with your to-dos and your revenue generating activities and you could do it yourself. You can think about reworking your offerings, raising your pricing, raising your goals, Updating your website, all of those things are good ideas. So pick one or two things that you might tackle today, right? Updating your website is probably a big job. So maybe you think of like, I'm gonna put a video on my about page or I'm gonna put a video on my membership page or I'm gonna create a free gift, okay? So do a couple, like if you wanna make the whole list fine, but take one off and tackle it, you know, in the next two or three weeks and then take another one off later after that and tackle it for two or three or four weeks and then take another one off. So yes, you're gonna have a big to-do list but you're not gonna get it all done in a month. Trust me, this is not humanly possible, okay? 
but you have to start somewhere with the thing that you think is going to move the needle the most, meaning getting more clients and getting more people on your list and getting more people to like, trust and connect with you. That's the thing you want to focus on. I would love to help you. There are a gazillion trainings on my website from $27 to $2,000. And I've got deciding on technology, delegating for freedom, attracting clients, creating courses, um, marketing basics, jumpstarting your networking, how to maximize networking. All of those are on there. And I'm giving you guys a buy one, get one free. So if you guys want to grab a training or two, go to this page, jumpstartyourbiznow.com. I'll put it in the chat. Um, and buy one, know which is the second one you want that's of equal or lesser value, and then just email me when you get the receipt and say, I want to get this one too, and I'll send you the link to get the other one, okay? Is that fair? And even if you're watching this on replay, I don't care, just remind me that I did this <laughs> because I will forget. Uh, or come to a call with me, or just get on my newsletter and start listening. You have to get started somewhere, okay? Yeah. You have to get started somewhere, and that's what I got drop for you. Drop those in the chat, and then I'll drop them into the Facebook chat as well. Okay. Katrina, that was awesome. And you guys, take her up on her link that she said, you know, for Ask Cat to talk with her. Any questions that you have today since we're running late on time? I know we covered a lot, but the biggest thing that Katrina said today is just start. Take the first step and do something. It is going to take a long time. It takes a long time to get all this done, but if you start now, then you'll at least be on your way and she can help you organize what is the smartest thing for you to start next once she can kind of help you analyze, right? What's going on. So I dropped the link in here so that you guys know that we have our training coming up next Tuesday. That's gonna be um, why it's important to take vacations. What did Katrina just say? We were just talking about vacations and why it's important for us to live the life that we design. Design the life you wanna live and do the things that are necessary for you to be able to live that life and then join us next week so you can really understand why it's important for us to get away and step away from our businesses. That will hopefully push you to go back to Katrina so she can help you set up those automations. It's, it's why we bring people to you because making this easier for you is what is gonna help you continue doing what you're doing and making a bigger impact for other people. That's hands down what it's all about. If you burn out, you're out. You're gonna get too tired, it's too hard. So don't burn out. Just take the first step, do it one at a time, don't overwhelm yourself, and I promise it will happen. We've done it, and it takes a while, but it's worth it in the end. And it's the only way to truly see the success and joy and happiness that you want in your life. Katrina, you were awesome. High five, my friend. I wish you lived <laughs> closer. It's just I know, so sad right? that you live in California and I live in Arizona. You should move here. It's I've a already desirable been there three state. times in the last year. It's your turn to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to you. <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks for joining us. Join us next week. I dropped the link in there. You'll get some newsletters as well. I want to thank everyone if this is your first time attending a Lead Up event. We hope to see you around more soon. So thank you, Katrina. Bye-bye, ladies. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care.